Ah, Phil, you keep doing these soul-searching vlogs. Talking about becoming a door-to-door -door atheist while you're using Jesus as your thumbnail. You seem to have come up with an awful lot of reasons not to go to church or not to follow any sort of specific religion. I'm kind of curious as to why you're so torn. I think Einstein put it best when he said that there's only two ways to live. You can live as if everything's a miracle or you can live as if nothing's a miracle. Which one of those two you choose will determine pretty much all of your decisions and how you look at things in life. Forget about what society tells you because take a look at our society. Would you listen to them? I don't, they can't take care of themselves. Let alone tell you how to live. What you've got to find out is what decisions will give you peace. What will make you feel good in here? What will make you feel comfortable with what you're doing in your chest? Okay? Does being a door-to-door -door atheist uh, give you that feeling? Does it give you a sense of peace? A release from the shackles of whatever religion was imposed upon you in your youth? Or are the constraints of your life preventing you from finding peace in the religion that you've grown away from? Only you can answer that. And the only way you're going to get the right answer is if you're completely honest with yourself. And that's a rare quality. I hope you have it. I'll even pray you get it. I think you've got the secular side pretty covered. So, why don't you try this? For your next 30 day challenge, try going back to church for 30 days, which is really only four Sundays. See what that does for you. See how it makes you feel. See if you can, if you get anything out of it. And don't sabotage yourself. I mean, you have to really go there with an open mind as if there is something there that you really want to find. You don't have to vlog about it, you don't have to post about it, you can make it your own secret thing if you want. Whatever you're most comfortable with. I think you'll discover something about yourself. I mean, if you're going to be on a spiritual journey, if you're going to do all this soul searching, if you're going to be trying to figure out where it is you're supposed to be, why not at least make that much effort and see what that side of things has to offer? If you decide to, in the end result, to walk away from religion, and it turns out wrong, then it's not only your problem, you will also have led Mo some certain percentage of the millions of people who watch you down the same path. That's another consideration. I'm not judging you on that, by the way. I mean, uh, if there's one thing that the Bible makes it clear is that that's something that God reserves to himself. He didn't give me that authority. So I never try to view myself as being in a position to say, oh, that person's bad, he did this, or that person's good because he did this, because I don't know what's in their heart. Only God knows that.